G'day, today we're going to have a look at level 18 of the Passenger Flow DLC of Train Valley 2. This one is called Canada. So we've got 17 and a half minutes. We can't destroy objects worth a total of 20,000 or more. And we can't allow any trains to arrive to the wrong station. So uh, what we've got up here is workers that want computers and glass. And then we've got workers down here that want computers. Uh, we've got A, B and D stations. We're going to get E down here and C up here. Our electricity is behind a paywall and three of our um, things are behind bridges that are timed, so it is definitely the trickiest of the levels I've seen so far uh, in this DLC. So what we want to do first is just build it so that we've got um, a connection between our two sort of main stations, and we'll get these guys going to engineers to start with. And we'll get A joining in on their fun, and we'll get these guys connected to glass. We'll get B in on that, uh, and if they can connect, we'll just get that joining. There we go, beautiful. Okay, so we'll start off with sending these guys. We're sending these ones first just because this is on a time bridge. Uh, so we want to send 14 guys down to that because uh, we're only going to deal in divisibles of four, um, seven. Uh, the only thing we need divisibles of six on is the glass over here. So we get 14 in there, uh, we'll then order up some trains, so we'll take advantage of this B train that we can send. And we'll also send a few more workers down there just for the money. And we'll get a bridge in here, and just slot D into being connected. Uh, let's just pause while we do this so we can send that train. So now what we want to do is just sort of get through a few quick trains, um, basically until uh, we've got 14 guys available there, I'd say, so we can send them to oil. Or if we run out of options to, to send trains to. Okay, so what we'll do with this guy coming in is we'll just make a little connection here and get this guy joined. And we'll see if we can get our workers on their way through to here before that closes up. And we'll just pause for a second there too and we'll get these guys going as well. Okay, so that should be 14 all there, so hopefully they arrive with this in time. Uh, we'll send that guy as soon as we've got a free train. Okay. Just get him to wait for a second, just while these guys all get past. Okay, and... With that change, I don't think there's anything we have to do at this stage. So we'll just order two more trains to keep going. And then what we'll do is we'll send the glass on behind them. We'll send some more guys to glass. So basically just want to set up so we've got 21 glass in total sort of working over there. Same will go for the oil. We want to make sure we get that to 21 pretty soon too. Now to upgrade all our trains, now that we've gotten rid of the only thing we needed to deal in in sixes, be 150,000. So we're very close to that. Actually, we can do it now. And just make sure we get this last train when he's um, he's ready. Just means our trains will move that slightly bit quicker, which would be nice to sort of help our efficiency. Hey, 
Okay, so we've got 14 oil down here now. So we just want to make sure that we can get an extra seven guys down there. So we only need five guys really to hit our full seven, which will be this guy here. And then once this opens, we want to send um, 14 workers down and our 14 oil. So we'll just get these guys lined up, ready to go. Okay, I can just stop him there, stop that one there. Okay, and with the two of them going in, it means that we're going to have everyone uh, all ready to, to sort of take on the um, electricity coming in, but we can't afford the electricity just yet. So what we'll do is we'll just wait for these guys to arrive. Uh, and then we'll just send a couple more trains around just to make that money. Really, the two of these. Actually, no, that's already enough, so we can send this guy up. Now, when the bridges are open or closed, that's going to stop your uh, ability to have electricity getting to places. So it'll take sort of 28 electricity to get these both done, and it'll sort of do it in a, in a split sort of way. And what we'll also do is just try and see if we can get a few more trains moving just while we're in this point. So we might just move him too at the same time. Once these two arrive, um, we will get these glass on their way over too. Now we'll just um, connect this up and just get our first 14 guys down that way too. And we'll send those guys up. Get this going down. Just keep an eye on everywhere to make sure it's going to go to the right spot. Now we're going to need a little bit more glass being made too once this is out of here. So I'll send those guys through to do that job. Okay, so the first seven of that is ready, so it means that once this bridge reopens, uh, we can send seven more guys uh, that way. So while that's open, we'll send this train. We'll try and just work on clearing out some of these trains, uh, just so that they're not going to bother us uh, later. So he'll go to the right spot, and this guy's going to go that way. Uh, we won't worry about him then. Uh, basically, we just want to hold on to any train that we get that's C until as late as possible. Uh, we are starting to make a bit of money now, but um, they're definitely our low-priority ones. Oh, that's going to be close, but we'll uh, take the risk of getting him down. These trains should be moving quick enough to, to not be a problem. Um, okay, so these guys are now on 8s and 7s too, uh, but we are out of electricity. So once um, these open again, we want to make sure we get our guys, uh, oil and workers over to them. Now we'll send this guy. Now as this is about to open, we want to get uh, some workers down here. So we'll send these guys across. Yeah. 
and we will send uh, this back. And we'll send some more guys up to do electricity. And then send this guy. Sort of running out of options except to send something to C. Um, okay, so we definitely want to get the two of these guys uh, on their way as soon as possible. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll send our um, everything else that needs to get to them first. Um, so we'll let this guy get through. Pause him for a second. Send that guy around. Okay, we'll get our first slot out. Uh, and we'll send some more guys up that way. So we'll send this train out. Send this guy. Looking pretty good. Uh, we need to get the lot, next lot of these guys out when that opens. Um, we won't risk sending those guys across, so that's okay for now. Okay, so once uh, this guy crosses here, we'll send this guy. We can send this guy now. now I'm just pausing every time we move a train. We just want to sort of really be paying attention to everything at this point. We don't want to lose it at this... Uh, close end, so you just like that. That's why we've got to just be aware of everything. Okay, so that guy's good. So, so these guys might be able to get out too if we're, uh, if we're lucky. We'll send these guys up to keep that going. Um, yeah, we'll send them. We are going to need the polymers coming soon. So we'll get them. We'll send the next lot of glass all the way over because it's going to be one of our last long distance trips across the map. We will need workers in there too. Send some more electricity up. Okay, and we'll send this. Uh, we'll send this guy. So we've got a lot of money so we can just uh, clear him out. Get those polymers going. Because um, that's what we're waiting on. Just make sure they go to the right spot. Um, good. Might send just another lot of polymers as well, just to make sure this sort of keeps going. And we'll just pause them there. Um, get them going, we'll send this guy. Okay, they're all good. So the only thing we're waiting on is the remainder of these polymers, which we'll have to wait until uh, next time. So we'll just go these guys. We've still got seven minutes, so there's no ultra rush on that. Um, we'll send these guys through. Now that is our 30th. We've got our 30 trains, I realize, too. So um, all we have to do is now just deliver the trains we have. So I'm going to get rid of this guy, just so that I can change that back to being electricity and then forget about it. 
Um, what I'll do is I'll send the first seven of those as well. And I'll send it to the close one because um, we're still dealing with stuff moving around the rest of the map. Okay, so that's in. We'll send this guy. Uh, and we'll send this. So I'm not going to do anything else for the moment. I just want to pay attention to what I've done here just to make sure that this guy does go that way. And then once he's gone past, uh, this does go the right way to follow it. Good. Okay, that's all good. Um, we are stopped at polymers again here. So we do need to get them off straight away. Okay, there we go. So the polymers uh, can just go in there. Uh, we'll send this guy off behind them. And that should be the last anything that needs to cross a bridge, to uh, one of these time bridges to, to get out. Uh, we've still got six guys up there, so that should be plenty. We'll send this guy up to do that. Uh, we'll then send this guy to go down here. And that should be the last of our leaded trains. Yep, good, good. Uh, and we can start sending these guys back home. There we go, so we'll just double check all these again. There we go, five stars. Now that is definitely a difficult one, but you can see by the amount of time I had left, you can probably take it a little bit slower uh, than what I did there. Uh, any questions or comments, feel free to check on below. If you had a different approach, I'd love to hear it too. Uh, but yeah, until next time, I'll catch you later. See ya.